Welcome to the seventh annual Poskers. It's time to recognize the accomplishments of our student athletes here at the University of Memphis. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we celebrate another year in Memphis athletics. I'm your host, Jeff Brightwell, and now let's begin by welcoming our very own Director of Athletics, Laird Beach. Hey Tigers, welcome to the seventh annual Poskers and the first full virtual Posker ceremony. We are excited to have you and excited to uh, present the awards today. Uh, this has been a special year in, in many ways and uh, a special ceremony here today. Uh, we are so excited to be back in person with you coming this next year and uh, at the same time so proud of all of your efforts and everything you've done. We appreciate family, friends, and all the support we get, but in the end it's about our student athletes and what you do every day. Thanks, go Tigers, and uh, enjoy the show. Hello again, everyone. I'm Jeff Brightwell, your host for tonight's Poskers. And again, we welcome everyone who's joining us in person or online in the virtual world of this year. Before we get started, we would like to recognize a lot of people that have made this academic and athletic year possible, including our administration and staff, our support staff, professors, CAS, of course, athletic training staff, strength and conditioning, student managers, and most importantly, our families that have gone the extra mile in this year. Speaking of the extra mile, let's take this time to recognize our international student athletes. Our teams have 83 student athletes representing 29 countries. During this COVID year, our student athletes have really stepped up. Let's take a look at some of the accomplishments. Baseball. Alec Trello was named one of 30 candidates for the 2021 Senior Class Award which focuses on the total student athlete and encourages students to use their platform and athletics to make a positive impact as leaders in their communities. Men's cross country, Zachary Wyatt finished ninth in the American at the Conference Cross Country Championships and Peyton Gleason was right behind in 11th place. Men's track and field, Austin Jackson was a double winner in the 100 meter and 200 meter dashes at the Joey Haynes Invitational and Max Emmerich also placed first in the javelin as part of eight first place finishes on the day. Football. The Tigers went 8-3 in 2020 and won their first ball game since 2014, a 25-10 victory over Florida Atlantic in the Montgomery Bowl. Men's golf. The Tigers carded the lowest Hoosier Invitational final round at Indiana University with Pierbon Namking and Oscar Ambrosius finishing tied for second. Men's soccer, Emmanuel Santos had an impressive start to the month of April, scoring both goals in a double overtime win at USF and notching another goal against Temple. Women's basketball, Helena Davis entered the career record books, with Davis becoming the 26th Tiger to enter the 1,000 point club. Women's cross country, Shabli Schreffler put in a top 35 finish at the American Championships, and fellow sophomore Brooke Mache was just outside the top 50 at 51st. Women's track and field, Denia McMiller competed in the NCAA championships in the weight throw after qualifying with a school record 22 77 meter throw, which was the fourth best throw in the nation. Women's golf, Abby Herman made her first hole in one in competition in the Brickyard Collegiate, helping the Tigers to a season best top five finish at Brickyard Golf Course in Macon, Georgia. Women's soccer, the Tigers earned their third straight trip to the NCAA tournament and fourth in the last five seasons, scoring one of just 19 at-large bids in the postseason. Eight different Tigers earned all-conference honors, with Maya Jones being named the AAC Midfielder of the Year and Grace Storty voted Rookie of the Year. Women's tennis, Darren Garcia earned national rankings during the season, and the Tigers won five of seven matches in the month of March. Softball. Gracie Martin leads the way offensively for the Tigers, as she is also one of the team's leading run scorers and base stealers. Volleyball, four Tigers, Sabrina Bianco, Bia Smith, Sam Drury, and Bailey Houlihan earned American Weekly Honor Roll recognition throughout the course of the season. Rifle, the Tigers ranked sixth nationally and secured a spot in the NCAA Championships for the first time in seven years and they broke two team records and an individual record in the NCAA qualifiers. Men's basketball, the Tigers captured the 2021 NIT championship and went 20 and eight on the season. And Memphis is just one of 14 schools in the nation with 20 plus wins in each of the last four seasons. 
And now let's welcome our current and former SAC presidents from men's track and field, Adam Neely, and the 2021 SAC president, Grace Duncan, from women's soccer. Good evening, Tiger family, and welcome to Poskers. My name is Adam Neely, and I have had the privilege of being on the SAC, the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, for all five of my years here, and the past two years serving as the president. I'm proud to say that we have remained persistent in the midst of a global pandemic and made it through together. While focusing on mental health awareness and diversity as an institution, we have ultimately came closer as a department. And I know the president next year, Grace Duncan, will continue in these efforts. Thank you, Adam, for your leadership and voice. It has been a pleasure serving with you this past year in SAC. I'm so excited to step into my new role as president and work side by side with the exec team. I'm looking forward to bringing our student athletes together where we can all learn, empower, and develop with one another. Thank you, Grace and Adam. And now we'd like to thank all those who served on SAC for the 2020-21 season. Thank you for your dedication and your teams. And now let's go to our first award, the Breakthrough Student Athlete, which goes to the most improved student athlete. Here are the nominees. Men's Track and Field, Austin Jackson. Men's Baseball, Blake Wimberly. Palm Cheer, Harley Southmade. And Women's Track and Field, Lauren Metzger. And the winner is Lauren and Austin from Track and Field. Lauren Metzger has emerged as a breakthrough athlete during her time with the Memphis Cross Country and Track and Field teams. After redshirting her first year with the team and then having her first true freshman season canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Metzger posted two personal bests in the current outdoor season. One at the War Eagle Invitational in the 5,000 meter run and another in the 1,000 run at the Joey Haynes Invite. The latter gave her a top 10 finish at seventh place. And her other top 10 finish from the season came from the Ole Miss Classic in the 3,000 meter run. Austin Jackson has consistently competed in sprints throughout his two years at Memphis, where he has established himself as a breakthrough athlete. In the 2021 season, he has competed solely in the men's 100 and 200 meter dashes and the 4x1 and 4x4 relays, where he has posted personal best for the 100 meter dash at the Ole Miss Classic and for the 200 meter dash at the War Eagle Invitational. With these events in this season alone, he has posted two first place finishes and three top five performances. And now it's time for the Comeback Award. This award is given to the student athlete who has overcome significant challenges to participate in their sport. Let's take a look at the nominees. Women's Soccer, Grace Duncan. Men's Track and Field, Max Emrick. Men's Track and Field, Tate Wyatt. And the winner is Grace Duncan from Women's Soccer. After missing her sophomore season due to an ACL injury, Grace Duncan returned to the soccer pitch this year and was a valuable part of Memphis NCAA tournament team. She appeared in eight matches and registered an 800 shot on goal percentage, helping the Tigers to an eight and three regular season record. Memphis earned a bid to its third straight NCAA tournament and fourth in the last five seasons. And now presenting the female and male freshman of the year, giving you the most outstanding true freshman in their sports. Here are the nominees. Anna Merritt, Palm Cheer. Brandon Brackett, Men's Soccer. Dolavi Thumthong, Women's Tennis. Grace Storty, Women's Soccer. And the winner is Grace Storty, Women's Soccer and Brandon Brackett, Men's Soccer. Right from the start of her career, Grace Storty has impacted the Tigers in major ways. She scored three times this season on just nine shots, which tied for the team lead. And she was part of the Memphis defense that allowed just eight goals on the season, good for third in the conference. Storty was named American Athletic Conference Rookie of the Year and was voted to the all-conference first team. Brandon Brackett was a key contributor for the Tigers in his debut season on the pitch. He started all 10 matches for Memphis and registered a trio of shots on goal in eight tries. Brackett averaged nearly the full 90 minutes per outing, playing less than the full game just twice. And he battled all 108 minutes in a 2-1 double overtime win at USF on April 2nd. 
this year was full of outstanding performances. So let's take a look now at the award for the breakthrough performance. The nominees are Claire Avery, women's soccer, record breaking goal. Sam Linton, women's track and field, discus school record. Zachary Watts, a 1430 indoor 5K school record. And the winner is Sam Linton, women's track and field. Samantha Linton broke the discus school record in the 2021 outdoor season with her 57-20 throw at the Joey Haynes Invitational in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. The performance earned her first place in the meet and her continued success in the discus led to her three consecutive top finishes after that. For the 2021 outdoor season so far, her average throw is 55-28 and she has finished in the top three for all meets. Lenton still stands at 10th in the NCAA with this record-breaking throw. Ladies and gentlemen, now time for the best individual performance by a male and female athlete at the University of Memphis. So let's take a look at the nominees. So let's take a look, first of all, at the female athletes. Camila Soares, women's tennis. Taylor Gibson, rifle. Solsta Saliba, women's track and field. And Tanya Boychuk, women's soccer. And the winner is Taylor Gibson. After qualifying for the NCAA Rifle Championships as a freshman as an individual, Taylor Gibson helped lead the Tigers to Nationals as a team in her sophomore season. The trip to the NCAA Championships was Memphis first since 2014, and the Tigers finished seventh in the nation. Gibson ended the competition 15th in the country in individual small board. And now for the men's nominees. Austin Jackson, men's track and field. DeAndre Williams, men's basketball. Emmanuel Santos, men's soccer. Hunter Goodman, baseball. James Story, men's tennis. And Peyton Gleason, men's track and field and cross country. And the winner is Hunter Goodman. Hunter Goodman put together arguably the best offensive series in Memphis Tigers history, February 28th through March 1st, 2020 against Western Illinois. Across three games, Goodman went nine for 17 with four home runs, which included three grand slams, 22 RBI, two doubles and seven runs scored. Goodman hit a three-run home run and a grand slam and a 24-3 win in the series opener. Hit a grand slam as part of an 8-5 win in the second game of the series and blasted another grand slam as part of a 4-8 performance and a 23-8 win that secured Memphis series sweep. His 11 RBI on March 1st set both a program and American Athletic Conference record for single game RBI. Again, thank you for joining us for tonight's Poskers. It's time for the best win. This embodies the grit and determination of Tigers athletics. Let's take a look at the nominees. Track and field, men's four by one. Shamar Vance, Austin Jackson, Ryan Gordon, and D'Lo Whitehead. Men's basketball, the NIT championship. Men's tennis against number nine Ole Miss. Volleyball's five-set upset of Wichita. Women's soccer, 3-2 overtime win over number six Vanderbilt. And rifle, seventh place finish at the NCAA tournament. And the winner is the men's basketball NIT championship. With a 77-64 win over Mississippi State on March 28th, the Tigers capture the NIT championship and finish the season with a 20 and eight record. Boogie Ellis had 23 points in the win. DJ Jeffries added 15 and DeAndre Williams and Landers Dolly had 12 and 10 respectively. Nolly was named the most outstanding player of the NIT and the Tigers finished the season with a 20 and eight record for their fourth straight 20 win season. This time we'd like to recognize some very special and important people of Tiger Athletics, our athletic training staff. This athletic training staff, a great team of professionals. They work long hours, tireless hours, trying to keep our athletes injury free and when they do get injured, helping them get back on the field and inside the arena.
Time now for our All Around Tiger, a very special award. All Around Tigers are nominated by athletes in other sports, not their teammates. And for this reason, the student athlete is respected by everyone around the university for what it means to embody the spirit of a Memphis Tiger. Let's take a look at our nominees. Lester Quinones, Memphis Basketball. Lenise Williams, Women's Basketball and Maddie Stokes, women's soccer. And the winner is Lenise Williams, women's basketball. Nominated by other teams on campus, Lenise Williams' contributions to Memphis go beyond what she does on the basketball court. Williams is one of two student athletes on the core group of You Made, where she provides valuable insight for the school's efforts in this important initiative. Additionally, Williams helped organize and lead the athletic department's Unity Walk in the fall of 2020. And she is also a member of the American Athletic Conference's Athletes for Equality Working Group. This year has been an unprecedented year for so many reasons, and for that reason, change is in the air, and that change has led to the creation of UMADE. Equality to me, means that you don't treat me no better nor worse just because of the look of my skin, the way I look, how my hair is, what nationality, race, or religion I am. Equality to me means that my brother and sister are treated equal and not different simply because one is male and one is female. Dignity means having an honor and pride in yourself while deserving a unique respect from others. Dignity is a strong value for everyone. Everyone should want to be respected, and everyone should want to have their own type of way of thinking. Dignity can take you a long way. Respect can be defined in many ways. I think in terms of racial equality, respect needs to show regard or consideration for somebody. This means to constantly strive to promote equal esteem and acknowledge the diverse cultures in our communities. So my favorite part about the idea of respect is that it's about holding others in a higher regard than yourself no matter their background, no matter their race, no matter their ethnicity, no matter where they come from. The Equality logo was designed and created by Memphis Athletics, UMADE Leadership Group, and ultimately selected by our student athletes. UMADE, which stands for University of Memphis Athletics for Diversity and Equality, was created to focus on issues and projects relating to the stewardship of diversity, inclusion, and equality within the department operations. The logo will be worn by our student athletes in the form of a patch on uniforms and athletic apparel and is designed to be uniquely Memphis. It features the words dignity and respect, paying homage to the plea from the late Dr. Martin Luther King during his final speech delivered in Memphis prior to his assassination at the Lorraine Motel. The logo also includes eight stars representing the Memphis State Eight, the first African-American students to take classes at the university in 1959. The hands represent the athletic department's commitment to diversity, equality, and inclusion for all of its student athletes, coaches, and staff. Our equality logo encompasses the spirit of Memphis and its civil rights history. As an athletics department, we're proudly committed to not only the symbolic nature of its design, but also to living out the values it represents. We ask our fellow Memphians to join us as we fight for dignity, respect, and equality for all. Go Tigers! Again, thanks for joining us for tonight's Poscars. At this time, we welcome our past El Maron Award winner, Anastasia Mallon, currently playing professional soccer in the Kazakhstani Championship League. And past Zach Curlin Award winner, Patrick Tater, currently playing in the NFL for the Green Bay Packers. The El Maron Award was created in 1978 and named after the former Women's Athletic Director at the University of Memphis. It is presented annually to the female student athlete who possesses drive, enthusiasm, and determination while maintaining a concern for others. Their love for athletics should be combined with involvement in outside interests, and both should be accomplished with maturity and self-discipline. This year's finalists are Sarah Ann Davidson, softball, Elena Davis, women's basketball, Elizabeth Moberg, soccer, Paige Sanwell, cross country, track and field. And the 2021 Elma Rohn Award goes to Paige Sanwell from Women's Cross Country and Track. Congratulations, Paige.
Hello everyone, um, I'd just like to say that receiving this award is a great honor as I've known some of the great women who have also received this award in the past and to be compared to what they did as student athletes in their time here and to Elma Rohn is a, is a huge honor. Um, I'd like to thank my coaches, Coach Rob and Coach Fernet, for giving me the opportunity to be a student athlete here at the University of Memphis and for always challenging, pushing and supporting my goals. Um, I'd like to thank my family who is, you know, giving me never-ending support despite being a thousand miles away from me all the time. Um, I'd like to thank my friends and all the teammates I've had here in the past five years. Uh, they're always my second family and they're, they've been so awesome in the way that they give never-ending support and faith. Um, so I'd just like to say thank you again for those who nominated and chose me for this award. Zach Curlin was the men's basketball coach from 1924 to 1948. He coached the men's basketball team during the Great Depression and World War II, which included a stoppage in competition in 1943 in order for the student athletes at the time to serve our country. For his effort and dedication to the institution during his 23 year tenure, the Zach Curling Award is presented annually to the male student athlete who possesses drive, enthusiasm, and determination while maintaining a concern for others. And now the finalists, Isaiah Jackson, golf, Adam Neely, men's track and field, Alec Trela, baseball, Brady White, football, and the 2021 Zach Curling Award goes to Alec Trela, baseball. Congratulations. I would like to say I'm honored to be this year's Zach Curling Award winner, as well as give my high praise to the other outstanding nominees from this year's class. My time in Memphis has been filled with fantastic memories and experiences, ones that I will cherish for a lifetime. My success has really boiled down to the overwhelming support of my coaches, academic staff, and family. And as always, go Tigers go. Perseverance, a continued effort to do or achieve something despite difficulties, failure, or opposition. Between balancing class, early mornings and late nights, long bus rides, being tested and retested, games getting canceled, times being changed. All of it requires perseverance. Some of us are from Memphis, others come to Memphis, but this city is our home, regardless of where you are from. And if there's one thing that's special about Memphis, if you love this city, it will love you back. But perseverance isn't just on the court or field, it extends to our community. That's what Ben the Tiger is all about. We must unify regardless of race, color, nationality. Making time to stand up for what you believe in. No longer will we sit in silence. As we leave here today, remember that the time is now. Black Lives Matter. No weapons, Black no Black Lives Matter fighting something bigger than yourself. Memphis and we have persevered.
Well, what an afternoon celebrating the seventh annual Poscars. We really thank you for joining us. We would like to make special thanks to Integrated Communications and Digital Media for making this all possible and helping you all realize your dreams here at the University of, of Memphis. Hopefully we're going to be with you next year in person. So thanks for joining us. I'm Jeff Brightwell. As always, Go Tigers!